Right. So wait, they hollowed out the old catacombs under Old North Church to make a fucking base. I actually kind of dig their fucking setup. All things considered. Like, it's very... Ve oh. Hi. And you work for... It's nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you, Pam. Introductory token recognized. Nice to meet you, too. Unknown entity, I provide first order approximations of the behaviors of all residents of the region. Designated Commonwealth. Rephrasing. I predict the future. You what now? You see the future? That is this unit's Primary goal. Caution. Biological life. So like you try to unpredictably. All output subject to an extremely high margin of error. <laughs> how inaccurate. Just how inaccurate are you? The smaller the group and the greater the time frame, the less accurate I become. But all predictions are affected by the human element operation. Uh-huh. You are a rogue variable. No current or previous models predict your presence or existence. Query. What is your point of origin? <laughs> Vault 111. I'm from Vault 111, if that's what you mean. Accessing. Vault 111. Cryo Vault. Delete. Destroy. Conversation terminated. Pending construction of new probability matrix. Freezing. Goodbye. Oh, uh, um, my question is, why does Pam have a, why does Pam have curves on her chasis? Okay. I can patch you up if you need it. For a small fee, of course. Um hear anything? Hear anything, Doc? Been out of the loop? Lots of sick and injured taking up my time. Now, if you need treatment, let me know. Okay. Not interested. Not now. Very well. Ooh. Well, more or less, like, I just, I'm kind of curious why the creators would actually give her, like, a very curvaceous cha um, chassis, chassis, whatever you call it. <clears throat> if we're going to be dealing more with each other, I need to make sure that we're on the same page. You know where the princes, right? I know about them. Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths with caution, as tools. Go on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a saint? Yeah. Once, I pledged my life to protect my country. I don't see this as any different. Well said. Someone with your skills, your beliefs. Normally, we'd try and recruit you. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new one. There are, however, other valuable ways we can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. No, oh, thanks. After we leave, I get to be a full security <coughs> system. Well, you mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the campus. Oh, no, that's, that's totally cool. Your leader was just being cautious. Exactly. 
killed our chance at a friendly first impression there. But it's all good now. I vouch for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Not planning on it. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. Do you trust me, though? But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I've heard a lot of things about you. Enough to want to give you a chance. Huh. Your Dez wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just going to come out and say this. The railroad needs you. Okay. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's going to be a wild and dangerous ride, but probably nothing new for someone like you. Sure. Sign me up, then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Okay. Seriously though, that password was shit. Like, oh, we're the railroad. We're hiding from people. We're gonna name, make our password railroad. Pfft. That's clever. Dumbasses. I know when the bombs fell, everyone kind of like took a backtrack in terms of like you know cleverness and shit because the institute's apparently like the most advanced tech. But come on, they could have thought of a bit better. And yeah, Deacon. How, hey, cool story, bro. How you doing? It's uh, it's going pretty good, you know. Just chilling out, playing some Fallout 4. Enjoying ourselves, but, you know. We just found the railroad. Making progress. I'm trying to do as much of, like, the game as I can. Seems like I'm... I think I'm relatively close to the end. I don't know. What you find? Well, what you find, boy? Is old Timmy in the well? What the? Oh, hello. All right, what's what's over here? I think it is. Yeah, no. I feel like I know where this is. I mean, like, I, gen I generally know where this is, but still. Trinity Church. Ooh, got you back. Not how I planned that to go. Custom house. Oh! I know where we are. Okay. Dog meat. You good? Oh, okay. The, we're at the harbor. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay, yeah, okay. I know where we are. 
So wait, what the fuck is this? Just, you know, random chair thing? Okay. Shit. Did I? Fuck you, Raider scum. <laughs> yeah, you're done. Combat knife. Yep, that's right. Just us chickens. Alright, so where's Deacon gonna be? He's gonna be all the way up there. Fuck. Alright. Uh, to Walden Pond. Walden. <laughs> <laughs> I know where that is. I love how by doing like side quests, I'm mean, just exploring the place and be like, oh, I know where this is. I know where that is. Oh my god, I've been there. Oh my god. Alright. How close are we? Okay, not that far. The row? What? What about the row? Context to the why the random throw. Gross. Love that perk. did not. Hey, Deacon. Glad to see that, you know, you made it too. He wrote a book called... Oops. Oh, he wrote a book called Walden? I did not know that. So let's see how many points is that. That's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like a ten point buck. 